layout tool has now been fully integrated into bonus tools and it is um, installs with bonus tools will be updated with bonus tools but it's also been significantly updated in this release so now it is a general for purpose visual file browser an icon based file browser so you basically under your browser settings you point it to a project or to a uh, absolute path and then it will find all the Maya files whether they be MB, MA or FBX it will find all those files and build icons for them so now if I just click on that icon it will either open import reference or assembly reference that file if you want to update the icons, you can basically go in here with the existing file, right click on the icon and just say create from current scene. That will give you a simple icon generation tool where I can go in and I can rebuild the icon to my liking. And then when I'm done, that icon gets stored near the file. There are various settings for that as well. So you can still use this as a, an, a scene assembly tool as well. So I'll set this up so that I can actually do some importing. So with a few simple settings, you can change this to either import, open reference, or assembly reference. So I have now set it to assembly reference, which basically means that I can just click drag on an object to bring that into my scene. So now when I'm bringing these objects in, I'm bringing an assembly reference, it automatically adds an option for uh, moving or placing the object within the scene. So I can take all these various parts and pieces and I can quickly click drag them into my scene and start to build kind of a modular uh, type uh, setup. So I'm not going to go into all the details here. I just wanted to point out for anybody that's used like layout tools in the past that it still has that functionality. It just can also be used as a broader uh, simple file browser. The transform tab basically has been updated, it used to be called the placement tab. This contains anything transform related, whether it be simple scale, rotate, or move, or whether it be advanced things like copying transforms, rotate, or mirroring transforms, randomizing transforms. The snap align section uh, used to be called the assembly section, but that was a, a name that conflicted with another feature in Maya. So now it's just called snap align, and it contains simple things for point to point snapping, bounding box snapping, constraint snapping and so on. So this tool has been significantly updated. I'm not going to go into all of the details here, but I will do additional blog posts on the layout tools resource page to go over some of the more in-depth or advanced features for layout tools. But that should be enough just to give you a starting point for how to use the tool. So that pretty much wraps up the overview of Bonus Tools 2015. I hope you guys find it useful and uh, report any kind of problems or issues or suggestions on the, the resource page. Thanks for your time. Take care.